Hi, and welcome back to the uh, Shane Plays Magic 2014 Duels of the Planewalkers campaign mode. This is the second video in the series, and uh, in this one we're going to take a quick swing into the deck manager, show you some changes I did there, and then we'll continue on with the campaign. And I think we're in uh, the Innistrad realm, which is kind of the... Uh, uh, evil zombie vampires kind of realm makes me think of uh, Ravenloft from uh, the old Dungeons and Dragons. So let's go into the deck manager. And all I'm going to do here is show you some changes. You may remember from last video, I won this deck, this Fire Wave, um, by beating this lady with the fiery hair. I think her name was. Chandra Nalar, I believe. And I'm going to go in, but I'm going to stick with my green deck here because I've been winning cards for that. And all I've done, there were, I guess I've won three cards maybe because it, when I came in here I had 63 cards in the deck. I'm trying to keep it to 60. That's usually a pretty good number. You don't have to do that. You can go up to 100. But I, re I removed three cards and all of them have a very high m mana cost. And this seven, um, seven, and I believe this one is seven as well. And one thing I've noticed with previous uh, plays of this deck is, you know, I just don't get that much mana. So those cards are just really taking up space until I can get some more cards in here, maybe some special lands or artifacts or something that give me mana or, or you know some creatures you can tap and get mana so gonna have to do something to get the mana potential of this deck up to use these creatures so I've taken them out for now let's go to the campaign okay so we're already on Innistrad these other realms are kinda locked right now so I'm just following the campaign path Ramaz gave me a pendant from a plane called Innistrad. The mark on it symbolizes some militant order there. If you can track down its owner, maybe they'll know something about Ramaz. Careful though, nothing's more dangerous than armed zealots. So, there we go. That's the flavor intro stuff. Alright, so last time we fought the Moorland zombies, let's try uh, the Skurzdag cultist. Those zealots we were warned about. At the edge of an isolated town, a shadowy figure approaches you. I have the answer you seek, he whispers. You follow him to an underground chamber, where hooded figures appear from the alcoves, chanting, The price is blood. So here we go. Okay, they're going to play first, so do I want to draw a new hand, or what have I got here? Man, and and talking about how mana locked, the, or not locked, but uh, weak this deck is, and then I got nothing but mana and, and two cards. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw a new hand. Um, hmm. Let me try it again. It says I can draw a new hand of six cards, so I don't know if I want to do that, Master. I just, yikes, I can't, uh, I'm going to draw a new hand. Four, no, I don't know, we're going to go with that. Come, come out swinging with the black. Yeah, throw anything. Yep, and they're already getting out with the Shadowborn Apostle. Well, at least I got another forest. That's good. Can't complain. Um, guessing I'm just going to have to take a little bit of beating until I can get some creatures out. Yep, one, one can't block. So, 
And that says sacrifice six creatures named Shadowborn Apostle and do something crazy for a search your library for a demon. Okay. So I'm gonna guess there's a lot of Shadowborn Apostles. Yeah. Continue. So the thing is with this you know, the tournament rules used to. Now, I understand things can change, okay? So I'm not saying this is the way it has to be. But at one time, under tournament rules, you could only have four of any one card in your hand. So I guess that doesn't apply here if they're talking about sacrificing six of these guys. Boom. Hopefully... This uh, this is a one-trick pony deck, though. That if I can keep them from having six apostles out at any given time, then I can, you know, block. Now yeah, there's four. I can block their main gig, their main move. Because the thing is with these <coughs> trick decks, one, two. See, there's five already. It's crazy thing with these trick decks is they could be really really powerful but if you can nullify that one thing they can do then um, then you know they're they're pretty much done Okay, so I'm just gonna have to throw out my old Gloom Widow here, and maybe that'll keep keep them from getting that six. Uh, and let I mean, she's probably gonna or he. Okay, so they're not gonna cast one. Uh, did I? Can I see? I can't block. This is what's confusing me. Is this happened in another game where, as far as I know, a creature with summoning sickness can block? Oh, I see now. It says a deck can have any number of cards named Shadowborn Apostles. So the four, the four doesn't. And there it goes. It's probably going to get six out. Yeah, let's sacrifice. So she did her dance, or he. Uh, can't I mean, let's say she she did her damage and now she's gonna probably sacrifice them. I don't know if she can do it this turn. Yeah, and here comes the demon. Shadowborn demon enter destroy target. Yeah, so that's just not good. Not good at all. Survive around, I'll get oaken form. Alright, continue. Now I can block. And see this one has summoning sickness and can suddenly block. So I don't I don't get why I Oh, wait a minute. I remember. I think Gloom Widows can only block yeah, creatures were flying. Okay, so there's there's that confusion solved. And here comes another apostle. It's just non-stop excitement. Okay. So I'm going to cast Oaken Form on my Beaten Widow, and then I'm going to cast Prey Upon um, on you, and you're going to attack the demon. 
the demon off the field of battle. And uh, shall I attack? No, because I'm not going to lose my Gloom Widow to um, to that apostle. It only has one health left. At least I get rid of the, uh, the old big baddie. Yeah, I'm not gonna. You know, unless something changes quickly, I don't think I'm gonna pull this one off. Cast creature spell, put a 3 3 green. Yeah, that's nice, but it's probably going to be too little too late. Every time I crash a, or pass a, or cast, I should say, a creature spell, I get a 3 3 creature token. So I can only attack creatures with, or block creatures with flying, so I might as well attack because I can't block. Now it'll be interesting to see if the AI does not block to try to get um, six more of these guys out. Yeah, she's going to let it go through. There's no nasty, yucky, life-draining stuff going on here. Yep, yep. If I don't pull a creature card on my uh, draw, I think it's, yeah, I think this game is pretty much over. Because um, I can't block with the 3-3, three, three, or I can't block with my Gloom Widow because her creatures aren't flying and she's going to do three points of damage to me. I'm at six. Hmm. I guess I could try one more round. I don't see it happening, but... Now I'll... I'll get rid of one of her lands just in case she has a bee. Oh, I forgot about Prometheus. Whenever you cast a creature spell, whenever you cast a non put 3-3, three, three, okay, well, maybe that'll... Alright, so she's... My Gloom Widow's suddenly gonna be 9-9, nine, nine, which is nothing to sneeze at, but once again, maybe too little too late. Attack! Will she take it? Yep, she's gonna sacrifice. Well, I wish that had trample. I don't think that enchantment gives her trample. <laughs> this could come down to the wire. Uh, Alright, continue. In her last phase, she may throw another Shadowborn out. Yeah. So I, I can block one at a time, but I can't get these nine points through. Come on, get me, get me, get me, get me a creature card. Yes, I'll be throwing that. And I got my three beastie. That that may change things. Let's see. If I attack. I can get rid of one of her little things. Take it! Take it! Don't block! God, she's gonna block. Just gonna throw another Shadowborn.
attack. Stupid if you did. Ah, forest. Not what I wanted. Okay, I have three creatures. I can, I'm at seven life. I'm going to attack with everything. And messing around. Because she's got vigil or yeah, it's got vigilance. I'm attacking with everything. Attack. Yeah, this may turn around. We'll see. Yeah, she's going to have to block. So this may turn around. I've still got my Sentinel Spider with Vigilance with the block, so that was nice. Not complaining. As long as she can't, as long as all she has is these Apostles, yeah, I think, I think the Titan may have turned unexpectedly. I thought, thought she had me on the ropes. Staff of the Wild Megas. Choose a creature to get three. Huh. That's a nasty enchantment. Glad it's on my side. Attack! Heck yeah, bring it. Mm hmm. Attack with all. So I haven't seen anything, any, any direct damage spells, any disenchant, any... So it looks like the whole trick to the cultists are just the apostles and hey, pull out a demon card. So, so like I said earlier, if you can negate that, which it looks like I've been able to, um, probably get her next round unless she throws like three apostles out or something if you can negate that one trick then you know you can win it's, it's all as so much in games and different things are it's all in timing because that one round made the difference when I was able to get enough creatures out to start turning the top it looks like I'm casting a master of the wild hunt and see now I've got another 3-3 three, three token. Uh, you can't activate a creature's tap ability unless you've controlled it since the beginning of one of your turns. Okay. Okay. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a 2-2 two, two green wolf creature token on the battlefield. Tap all untap wolf creatures. Each wolf tap this way deals damage equals to its power to target creature. So that's pretty nice. That's probably going to be the game unless something crazy happens. So I'm attacking with everything. You know, that's the first time I've seen this green deck come together this way. Very nice. Between that Master of the Hunt and that enchantment that lets you keep putting tokens and creatures out, it, I could see how this deck could really Start, start whooping it. So, and I uh, want another staff of the wild magus. I've already got two. Uh, it's not necessarily a a bad uh, thing to have, though. Cast a green spell, get a life. So, next campaign. Uh, my next duel will be the angry mob, which uh, I will not be doing in this video so thanks for watching part two hope you join me for part three when we uh get into it with this angry mob uh perhaps they think i'm frankenstein and they're storming the castle with torches and pitchforks so we shall see uh once again thanks for watching uh shame place